Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time we're looking at a 240mm AIO from Galed or Jaled. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. We will get through what comes in the box. We will have the overall benchmarks and then we will have a chat at the end. So make sure you continue to watch. Right then, so let's get into the unboxing. AM5 compatible, high quality sleeve tubing. It's got premium class radiator, infinity mirror, I'm assuming that's the fans, a noiseless motor, there's the overall fan, it's a hydrodynamic bearing for P PWM, nice to see, that is what it supports for the CPU, all the way down to FM1, wow, and AM5 and LJ1700. And we greeted with some foam. Yeah. Very nice. We need that. Yeah. Right. So, we've got, looks like an RGB connector with a SATA and a fan splitter. The Intel and AMD bracket. And some thermal paste. Oh, yes. Right then. Let's get to the fans. That's what they mean by the infinity mirror. mirror. That's on the fans. Very nice. They've got a bit of weight to them as well. And here's the manual. Uh-oh. Uh it's rather big. Yeah. Not the biggest, but it's certainly one of them. Oh, it's very thorough. Oh, it tells you every single part of it. Wow. Very thorough. It does take you through the overall setup for everything. So it utilizes the back plate for AM5, but not AM4. Oh, I don't know. Right, let's get into the AIO itself. A standard 240mm radiator. I'm assuming it's uh, aluminium. And I bet it's based on an Acetec design. Uh, right, there's the tube sleeve in. Looks like it's moving. I would have thought that would have been that, but oh well. Oops! Huh. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so... Standard aluminium 240mm radiator. There's the end tank. And there's the sleeve in. Yes, we get the sleeve in. Okay. So let's move on. Come on. Right, here's the pump block. Yeah, it looks like it's based on an Acetec design. There. Oh, another mirror. Nice. Very nice. It's got a copper co-plate. With hex screws, which you can actually get in any iFixit kit. I wouldn't recommend taking one apart, though, if you like the fluid, because it would be everywhere. Now, let's have a look what's actually in the box. So, this is everything. Very nice looking AIO. Let's get into the B roll. Benchmarks. I did run the 5900X at stock settings, and here we go. Cinebench R23, the idles are 35, max was a 72 Celsius. Blender Classroom, idles are 36 Celsius, the max was a 71. Blender BMW, the idles are 37, the max was a 72. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 37, and the max was a 76 Celsius. So, with um, XMP enabled and letting it push as much wattage as it went. It did hit 175 watts. So Cinebench R23, the idles are 35 Celsius. The max hit 86 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the idles are 36. The max was an 84. Coolant started to actually rise this time. And it went from 36 and idle to a 37 with Blender BMW and the Max an 84. 3D Mark CPU test. Again, the idles were 37 and the Max was 77 Celsius. Right then. So the overall 
B-roll, you've seen the thermal testing, you've seen what comes in the box. Now, what does Welshie think of this? Now, aesthetically, performance-wise, fantastic, amazing. It's really good, it's up there. Uh, not the best, but it's also not the worst one. Uh, the overall aesthetics, as you know, I love my RGB, so the overall mirror effect on the fans looks amazing. So on the pump block, it looks does. As you can see below, it looks absolutely stunning. I love the design of that. It looks really nice. Something similar to what Lee and Lee and stuff have used in the past. I really like this design. But the fans, they are audible. They're not annoyingly loud, but they you do can hear them. I will do a test now to show you, to let you listen to the overall sound. But before we get into that, I really need to have a chat with with Gellard or Gellard and tell him that the mountain for the AIO was a nightmare. I don't like the mountain. If I find it difficult to install, a consumer or a potential buyer is going to find it even worse, especially if someone who's just buying an AIO as an upgrade. Now, performance, aesthetics, perfect. I really love the aesthetics. The performance wasn't the worst, wasn't the best, like I just said. But the mounting system is something they need to address. Just like the air cooler, the air cooler was better, but this was an absolute nightmare to install. And I don't like upsetting brands, but you guys send me a product, you are going to get my opinion. And for someone who does it regularly, installing CPU coolers, AIOs, fans, which I do it every single week. For me, it took me 30 minutes to install for something that should only take 15. For someone like me. So, yeah. That's my, that, that is my opinions, that's my thoughts on the matter. Now let's get into what it sounds like. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mic. I'm going to go into user scenario. I'm going to go to customize, go to this. At the moment, as you can see, it's on 25%. Not really audible. Go to 100 So, there you go. Now, yeah, there is a bit of a hum coming from one of the fans. I believe one of the bearings might be going in one of the fans. I heard it in testing, but then it went away when I turned it on after that. So, I don't know. It sounds like a bearing problem with one of the fans, which isn't a very good thing, especially when it's in the video. <laughs> but, yes, one of the bearings sounds like it's going. As you heard, you could hear that hum or a grind sound. That sounds like the bearings. And I had it in testing while I was doing the thermals, but then once I switched it off and the next day I turned it back on for B-roll, the sound went away. So I thought maybe it was just an installation problem, over tightening the fans on the uh, radiator. So I unloosened the fans a little and the noise went. So I thought that was that. And as you saw, I only just turned it on for the video. And that noise came back, so that is definitely one of the bearings in the fans. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good. <laughs> but that could be with any brand. It doesn't matter. Any brand could come with any defect or default. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, you guys, I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Richard from Wild Sheet Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic day because I got a lot more stuff coming. Good. Bye.